Curious why Toya is one of the top candidates now. What's the next mission look like? Nah. Okay, so we're back to having a side quest again. So I, I have some time to work on this, but I'm gonna need to. I'm probably gonna need, need to accuse somebody next time, or I'll be in some trouble. So three people are ready to progress forward. Some people aren't even candidates. Does that mean that you can't go past that rank or something? Curious. Oh wait, no, right, I forgot. Some people just don't talk sometimes. Zenji. Huh? Huh? What do you want? Can we talk? <laughs> huh, I don't know what you're scheming at, but you got some guts. Fine, I'll tag along, you bastard. Some of these characters are really strangely localized. Seriously? This is all so damn annoying. Work with people I don't care about, eat with people I don't care about, spend time with people I don't care about. Seriously? What a joke. You're feeling it too, right? Uh, not at all. <laughs> what a goody two-shoes, you're boring me. It's a pain in the ass doing what the end says, killing people off, but who gives a damn? It's not like these people are my friends, right? I don't got time for that nonsense. Eh. That goes for you too, Show. Don't trust me if you know it's good for you. Put your guard down, you might walk away with a gaping hole in your back, you know what I mean? I see. Give it a rest, would you? Tell me, why are you so aggressive to people? Huh? Huh? You looking to file a complaint? No. Not at all. It's just that being so stubborn all the time would be pretty tiring. Is that a joke or something? You're getting on my nerves. <laughs> It's my choice what my, what my opinion of other people is. What? He's in, so he's insufferable, maybe I should just let him die. <laughs> Stubborn guy. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Says gold again? Huh? You again. Looking to get punched? I just came to talk. What's that? What's with you? It's so annoying. Why are you so curious? Seriously? So, the end. You think that bastard's serious about destroying the world? Yeah. He's done this much already. I don't think he's messing around. <laughs> That's so, huh? Not that it matters to me either way. I mean, most humans are just a waste of space anyhow. I know you think so, too. I don't? Oh, quit being such a pansy. You're smarter than that, right? The world's full of weaklings and people who, with nothing to offer. They're worthless. No. I've never thought of it that way. There isn't a single human whose life is worthless. <laughs> You're boring me. <laughs> You know what you call the people that just cheer us on and watch it and watch us fix the world? Useless shitheads, that's what. If you aren't strong enough, that's your fault, right? It pisses me off when the dumbasses act like they're gonna make it big and get and get all powerful. They call it hard work. Makes me sick watching that. But that's a bit much, don't you think? What's wrong with working hard? <laughs> just a stupid attitude. The idea of work, of work paying off. I hate that crap. But... Hates hard work, huh? Why so much? Alright, well... He, I hate you, you're boring me. It's like, I'm boring you? By challenging your ideals, that's boring to you? You're kind of a really insufferable character. Hey, Ajito, you're... You, your defense mechanism is being aloof, which is less irritating than being a dickhead, but it's still probably a defense mechanism for not actually engaging with anything. Yo, great weather! I want to check outside. Let's talk for a bit. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. You know any ca good cafes in the area? Uh, wait. There aren't any, huh? I think the end needs a suggestion box. Well, well you know what they say. Wherever two people gather and chat, it's an honorary cafe. <laughs> I don't know who says that, but whatever. I don't know. Everyone's so on edge. Can't we just have a little bit of cheer? No. That would be difficult given the circumstances. 
Given the circumstances, that's all the reason to be extra happy, right? I mean, ultimately, we're doing the right thing. So why bring down the mood? Seriously? We're doing the right thing. So shouldn't we have more fun doing it? Perhaps you're right. <laughs> See, now you're talking. Let's bust open a barrel of fun. But... That's hard to do so suddenly. Nope. No, that's just it. You gotta snap right into it, or else I'm gonna look like the crazy guy frolicking by my lonesome. I don't know. The fate of the world may rest on us, but that doesn't mean we need to act like we're at a funeral. The fact that we might die tomorrow means we should embrace today. Isn't that what it means to be human? You're right. That's rather optimistic. I think it's amazing that you can think like that in the situation. Nope. I don't need flattery. I need you to agree and join me, or I'll be all alone forever. That's a tall order. It's quite a challenge to keep up with you. Maybe if we all fight together as a team, we could become better friends, you know? But we're already fighting together. Oh, sorry, I meant all of us, including the end. What? The end? Mm-hmm. Hey, we're in the same general vicinity, right? Don't you feel a little bad for not inviting him? What do you mean? He's our enemy. <laughs> is that the way it is? I don't see it that way. What? How so? Let's just leave it at that for now. I want to talk to the others, too. After all, I'm not sure how much longer we all have. I'm running out of time to make friends with everyone. Later. See you later, man. What a strange guy. And also, he's saying like the worst possible stuff you'd ever want to say if you don't want people to accuse you of being a traitor. Himeno. What? So, I think I just figured out something about this game. These are characters I've neglected in the battle group a bit, and I'm using them all now, and now suddenly they all have a gold icon to get to the next rank. I assumed that there was just a one-to-one -one correlation between talking to people with the blue bubbles and then triggering the gold bubbles, but I think they're- I think that using them in battle also affects the progress towards the gold bubbles, so... These char so their battle rank was actually holding them back before. What? Don't tell me. You need something from me? Correct? Hmm. Huh. How unfortunate. I'm not busy enough where I can simply refuse. Alright, I'll play along. If you need something, I'd prefer to get it over with soon. <laughs> Let's see. I request you take no longer than eight seconds of my time. Why? Why do you object so strongly? Do you dislike talking with people? Fine. I dislike doing unnecessary things. I'm only here to fulfill my objective. I'm not here to make friends. Objective, huh? <laughs> Saving the world? <laughs> Wrong. That may be your objective, but to me, that isn't worth risking my life. I have no interest in saving the world. I don't care about such a thing. I just want to turn the end into ash. I'm here solely for that reason. I don't like how he treats the world like his toy and destroys it for his own selfishness. But... That, I understand. But isn't it a bit extreme to say you have no interest in saving the world? <laughs> you seem to have grown up loving the world quite normally. What we like, what we don't like, such things are unique and should be chosen freely, no? Don't force your values onto me. You have quite a way with words. I won't deny it. Relax. Although I have no interest in or hate toward you and the others, I don't intend to turn against you. If anything, I'll cooperate because your objective and my murderous intentions overlap. No interest in saving the world, huh? So those are actually our three options for talking to people for blue, then. It's Himeno, Toya, and Nagi. Well, I've got- I've done t plenty with Nagi. Let's work on these two. Spe well, specifically Himeno. <sighs> I'm quite surprised. That's the indoor scenery? Yeah. I wonder what they're creating this environment for. <laughs> Perhaps some type of experimental facility. Well, not that it matters. If the end is at the top, we'll get there. That's all there is to it. Uh huh. This room again. No. This isn't the same room, right? I, I mean, we definitely are up one level. Yeah, it's a different room. I don't see the marker I left behind. 
When did you find the time to do that? Well... I had some free time before. Really, though, the layout of this place escapes me. I've tried several other things to try and keep my bearings. I see. I see. Well, I've been trying to be cautious, too. I feel every bit of information can help improve our situation. I think I agree. Maybe we should cooperate, while we're still able to. Hello. New dialogue with Nagi. Oh wait, never, right, that's just the, the final icon. Hmm. Huh? Something the matter? You look restless. Yes. I was confirming if there were any traps. At the very least, there isn't anything dangerous here, unless it negates our gifts. I see. That's quite helpful. Hmm. It's not just this room either. I don't feel any immediate threats closing in. Did you sense that with your gift? It seems we can accomplish anything with your precognition, even if I don't look around. It's not as handy as you think. The time and place it can be used is limited. I'm not sure if it was like that before, though. In any case, let's continue to work together. Roger that. He looks like... Yeah, she looks like an X-Men character. I'm trying to think of, does any, do any of them look like a dead or alive character, specifically? Actually, no, they don't really cross into that aesthetic. I was wondering if that, if I could place each of them within a different, like, source thing. They're, it's actually a rel relatively distinctive style. I think the closest I would go to is probably Ajito? That's iffy. How are people doing on levels? We'll probably ready to level up, right? Yep. Kind of. One gift experience. This, this is show. There's so much to keep track of here. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want combat senses where you attack somebody first. And the ability to preemptively cause your own dodge is pretty great. So we're going to go down fortune, I think. That's just a crit chance. It's good on fortune. Hey, Meno. I've just been upgrading burn so far. Not the worst idea. And that it gets more powerful, but the more powerful it gets, I think the higher the cost it gets. Plus five power, but also plus five GP. And that's not a proportional increase. That's a... Uh, the cost is going up a lot faster than the actual outcome is. Ooh, all targets in range. That's great, that's great except for the part where they might all counterattack, right? I guess I'll know in the moment if they counterattack because it'll tell me if they will. Let's get that ability. Multi-targets a, a rare thing so far in this game, so getting a few of them in is good. Ooh. A long-range bomb strike. Range of 12, compared to the normal shot. It, this is already an extra extra long range shot, and that's an eight, so that 12 must be huge. But if I want that, I need to go to, to I need to get Magnet Wall and Magnet Mastery, and that's gonna take a while longer. But this does increase the power of other skills, so I might as well grab it. And then that opens up Magnet Wall, and then we can go there. This is a manual int raise. Mana Kawaii. <laughs> I can't read that as any other anything else, and that's just the dumbest name. So she can self-heal. Oh, she can't. I didn't buy it yet. Now she can't. That's a great ability to have. Everyone could use a self-heal. Mostly because it doesn't use my resources, and that's what I want. I've been going down the tree. See, I don't have you yet, right? No. You can manually raise agility if you want. Or I can go down towards dropping an object on a target, range 6, versus just having... Oh, that's, that's a passive, though. Pretty great, too, just the massive move range that she has. Thousand Knives, melee attack against all targets in the area, definitely want that. But that's gonna take forever to get. Let's get Assassin's Blade. Long, ra long range melee attack means that she has a melee attack that can... 
benefit from the bonus she has to that uh, tree of skills without uh, requiring her to get counterattacked by close range melee attacks. That's the heal that hurts people. What a bizarre idea. Revive an ally that's knocked out. Having that in... Yeah, I, w I want that for sure. Increases the effect of healing abilities as a passive. Well, we need to pump that up too. But to do that, I need to increase the power of heal first. But first we do that, then we can go to, into injection, which makes the heals additionally more powerful. And then he'll be the best healer there ever was, which is not saying much because there's zero competition. You don't have- this requires rejuvenation, which I believe means that our- would that mean our healer- I think our healer has to die for that. Oh, I really hope our healer doesn't die. Doesn't- I think that means we can't level up the healer skills anymore, right? Which would be a problem. Inflict damage proportional loss of hit points. Unfortunately, it's a- it's not a passive buff. Now, sharing the buffs would be good. And this is and this is uh, increased damage with the assist. Which I definitely want I want him to be a good assist character. So let's go for that. Because then he can link up somebody and then do some really high damage assists, and that'd probably be very helpful. Buff up the telekinesis, then also unlock the next skill. Sure. It was getting more powerful. Her tree still weirds me out, how it starts off as this really linear part. Sympathy. Increased crit range and damage on assist attacks. Yes. And a Jito. <laughs> the, the transplant just sounds so incredibly brutal. Uh, teleport to dodge. Can't get that one otherwise. Stealth step. Teleports behind target for a melee attack. That's an automatic back attack, which means it does bonus damage. Continuously teleport attack target for high damage. Continuously teleport, what does that mean? Is it just a multi-attack? Well, I think I want this. The teleport behind. So I'll go for the bonus attack range skill, which will then buff that skill in turn when I eventually get it, I believe. There we go. As expected, George does not... Yeah, George does not uh, level up. Because he's dead. So, you don't get any more progress down his tree. Which is all the more reason why I don't want my, someone like my healer to die, because then I don't get to upgrade his heals anymore, and I'm stuck with the rest of the game using his weak version. Because Nagi uses George's materia, but, but nobody else... But it's not going to get better. I believe that's how this works. Is it bad that I'm kind of looking forward to more characters dying because it'll make the in be uh, the uh, in between levels part shorter? <laughs> it's right. They have to manage like ten characters' equipment and skills and talk to them all individually, and I'm like, holy crap! You can see immediately how this will get progressively faster as the game progresses. This was shining, but did I actually did anyone actually get better weapons? Nope. No one has a, has access to anything better yet. Now it's time to plan the next thing. Defensive line. In the open chamber, trees lurching up from the ground. An enemy defensive line blocks the way. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the entire team gets to team up this time. That's good. It might be best to bring a healer in then. I don't, I don't like the idea of continually uh, distorting the overall... Ba uh, balance of battle rankings, but if I bring Sohiro along, then Sohiro can heal m team members because there's gonna be a lot of people around, and that's probably a good idea because uh, I might be getting a lot of attacks coming my way. Because on one hand, my units are densely packed together; on the other hand, so are theirs. So they could be getting a lot of assists, and that'd be a problem. Right now, they're still going to remove his NG. See. Toya Marco Jimeno Zenji. 
But I also have the additional incentive where I need to split these parties up. So let's not bring a Jito or Yoko. So I can bring Marco Jimeno Zenji. That'll split up half of this group and it'll split up part of this group and that'll give me more information to work with, hopefully. So, Marco Jimeno Zenji. I feel slightly overwhelmed sometimes, but I enjoy that this game has me considering so many variables when I'm thinking about what all of my different steps along the way. Which might be exhausting for some of the audience and might be exactly what some of them are here for, is the over-analysis and whatnot, which I then will inevitably get wrong anyway, so... Well, some, some might say, what's the point? I'm, I'm amused that there's still a reputation meter for the dead guy? As if to imply any other reputation than, uh, bad at the point of executing somebody. <laughs> yeah, those are the people that are most heavily voted. So right now, having Mana and Sohiro be the highest ranked isn't that bad of a thing, because those two characters are likely innocent, and so they're better to have, have higher ranks. But, I can get in some trouble the moment they turn on me, like on the next floor, potentially. But this might be a somewhat dangerous one, so I think I'm gonna- I think I am gonna bring Mana and Sohiro with me. Because Mana can- Mana's kind of a tanky, hard-to-kill character, I think, if I remember correctly, and- and, uh... She has a self-heal, and Sohiro has a, a heal-somebody-else skill. And I already ruled out Toya, Yoko, and Ajito? No, just Yoko and Ajito from coming along. I could bring Toya. Might want to bring Toya. But no Nag- no Nagi. Yeah, I'm gonna sub Toya for Mana. I just want—I just want to make sure I have a healer with me. But then it comes down to what what positions do I want them to be in? Himeno's the only person who's kind of melee, but she also has a ranged magic attack. So I can actually kind of prioritize things differently here. Let's put the somewhat tougher-looking characters in the front, which I don't even know who they are necessarily. Just gonna put these three in the front. And keep the healer in the back-ish. Put Marco in the back. They seem to die easily. We'll see how this goes. Right, I need to check what the enemies are. So, ranged attack, ranged attack. These are the sniper dudes. These, that's just a drone. These are the weird melee users. Those are melee users. And then lots of drones. So melee users are up front. And in the back. It's not until the very final enemies that they have actual snipers coming up. And if I stay around the corner, they can't snipe me. Until they actually round it. But there is a rounded corner, so it's, it's not going to be a very hard turning point. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I hit B1 too many times. And they undid my entire thing, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. Ah. Uh. Can't believe that just happened. That's more or less it, though, right? Yeah, okay. You go B, then deploy here. There we go. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Let's try not to quit out after all of the planning. Okay. <laughs> that... <laughs> More or less what I was worried about. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Not good. <laughs> so holy crap. That obliterated the entire party. Sleep. Until awakened and afflicted cannot be controlled, and any attack against them will always be critical. After three turns, or after being hit, they will awaken. Alternatively, you can use the item or gift. I 
not good enough. Treat people if I Okay, I have like fundamentally misplayed this entire game, and I need to resolve that. Kind of wondering if I can split the forces a little bit, and that if that might actually be better. I'm thinking Zenji, Marco, Show, all single target units. Maybe send them in the back path. Then Sojiro could be the healer for Himeno and Toya, who are like the two AOE characters. Of course, this is this is all bust if the other team falls apart immediately, which is the problem. Ah, the damage they do. And they know to focus fire. Just go away. No, I don't want to. What do I do when there's two snipers together? Because they could just focus fire and shoot one guy four times. Saw that coming. On one hand, I commend that they they let the enemies have all the same powers that your team has, but holy crap. There's way more enemies than there are allies. There's moments where I'm like, I don't know what you expect from me. The enemy also has straight up more things than I do. All of them have tons of tricks and powers that I don't have. Every All of my guys have one power, or two powers, or zero powers. And oftentimes the two powers they have aren't massively divergent to begin with. I'm going weakest character in the back. I'm putting so hero there there show after then I'm putting the two characters that struggle the most with movement range and attack range here in front and Jimeno to assist and I'm gonna go back to the strategy of a full front line attack where I just try to funnel them in and I'll try to spam the hell out of my AoE attacks whenever they're applicable for multiple reasons one of which is that uh, don't get in my way. They're good openers. They're good openers because they don't trigger counterattacks. Really, I can't reach him. No. Searing blast. What are the hitboxes for your movement? I keep getting stuck. Okay, so I just can't reach. That's a bummer. Let's go. Hm. I, I need to. I can at least use her to defer well, for someone then, though. Cause he can do more. I can't attack directly, but he has ranged attacks. Try to center myself as much as I can. I feel like I can get both of them at once if I yep, if I do it just right. How's that? Let's go. That th that makes it so that her action at least isn't wasted. You can't reach them. But you can defer to him. I'll give you a hand. Roger that. Who could just do the same thing again if I want to? Or I could attack the guy in the back. No, I can't. The coil shot doesn't actually reach that far. But I could do the same thing again, but first of all, I need to get into attack range. I might as well inspire assists at that point, though. Let's go. Let's see if I can Let's get more begin. people in. Let's do uh, this. Show. What are you stuck on? I almost want like a uh, wireframe mode where I can see all the crap people are getting stuck on more clearly. On my way. I'll let's go. Let's apart. begin. Yeah. Ha. On my way. <laughs> there we go. So that's probably a down. Don't miss. Good. <laughs> Please don't miss. I need to. Marco brings up the rear, which is for the best, because this dude is incredibly, incredibly, uh, vulnerable. Who was in what attack range? What show an attack range for both of them at the time? I don't remember. Please. 
is. I know that Sohiro wasn't. There we go. So it's only going to be from... Alright, that's fine. Oh, well, it has to be fine. How's this? I'll tear him apart! You probably have to defer also. So you'll defer to another character that wasn't in range for that, because then you can get in range to... Roger that. Then when you attack, the other two people will both assist. Yeah. How's that? Oh. Come of course. On. <laughs> and just let me have it, huh? Uh, it feels so nice in the first turn when it feels like nothing could possibly go wrong. Oh my god, here comes a billion troops. And they're at the back of the level, so they have tons of time to buff up. I don't want any of those guys to reach me, because they are nasty. The snipers are nasty enough because they do large damage attacks, and they also... Okay, come on. You know what? I hope Marco's the traitor. <laughs> I'm sick of Marco. There's a, re There's a reason why I didn't bring him on missions in the first place. Because he just kind of seems to suck. And this is just being reinforced by the fact that Marco is now, like... I'll tear him apart! <laughs> well, the game knows he's way. vulnerable, and it's... Anymore. He's in the back of the entire group! And even now, he gets specifically targeted. So that he, so that he can be wiped away. out. Oh my goodness, you dick of a game. I'm wondering if... Can set this up to attack the guy in the back and then hit both of them. I can, so that'll hit all three of them. Take this. There we go. Let's go on my way. That's one less anymore. enemy now. He's so close to going down, though. That's good. At least the counter attacks led to him getting that. Wasn't even the counter attacks, that was the fire, wasn't it? Get the attack off. I want to be in range for the other guy to help with that. Just go away. If he missed, Marco would have died. Don't get in my way. Well then, let's do this. Let's see. I need to get rid of those guys before they do nasty things to my team, more or less. Hm. I'll tear them apart. Is there anything stopping you from just using that fire attack over and over again? Here. I'll handle it. That's kind of what I want to do, is just use the same attack over and over again. On these guys. Burn. Obviously it costs her a lot of sanity, so she be, she'll either be out of commission for the rest of the round on my way or otherwise she won't have anything she'll either run out of GP and not be able to do anything for the rest of the round or she'll uh here we go or let's she'll lose her sanity going. thanks then let's begin but I can work with it I think you have the other AoE so I should let's save go. you a show I can work with. This is my chance. This one's mine. This is the type of strategy I probably need to be using specifically. So she's at half sanity already. This uses 30 GP but 20% sanity. So if I use it three times, I can use it three times with my GP count, but I'll I'll run out of sanity at that point, and then who knows what happens. Fun times, haha. -ha. How's this? I think it's worth then it just to wipe begin. her out. Make that make sure they go down. It's also gonna do wonders for her uh, battle ranking probably with that many attacks being triggered.
that group up too much. I've got no choice. Defer is really powerful because you can just use one attack over and over again within reason. The problem is that I think it uses 10 sanity for the person who's deferring in the first place, I believe. Like he lost more sanity there, right? Yeah, everyone loses sanity from deferring. And so you, you can't spam it continuously, obviously. I can probably kill these dudes. How's this? There we go. This is probably the type of thing I need to learn t to win f fights like this. These snipers are a problem. Thankfully, I think I can still get the drop on the snipers. So I need to look for... Oh, she went crazy. Because the attack that hit her made her lose the rest of her, her stuff. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jeez. Well, she got horrifyingly uh, powerful in that moment. Did I just lose? It felt like such. It felt like things were going well until that exact moment, and then it went to hell. That complicates things. Are you all right? Uh, why'd you have to go crazy? Why'd you have to go crazy? You could have just not gone crazy, and then we'd be good. We had to go mondo crazy. If I run away from her, she can attack the other dudes. That, that might be my best chance. Take this. Are you all right? It's not looking great. <laughs> it's not hyper effective, is it? I advise caution. S stay back, all right? This could get ugly. This is how I go crazy. But if I go behind you guys, maybe you'll attack them? He uses 40% sanity. Holy crap. He has expensive skills. But maybe he'll wipe out the bad guys? This one will hurt. This round might, might be a bit bust at the moment. But we'll see what the outcome turns out to be. <laughs> Oh, he's doing it again. Awesome. Whoa, he destroyed them, but also now he's an enemy. Oh man, that could have some really interesting outcomes. I advise caution. Are you all right? The problem is, of course, all the baddies. I advise caution. I might just go for running away. I think I want to just run away and make it so that the closest targets those guys have are the enemies and hope they attack the enemies and not me. That might genuinely be my strategy here. Wow, that self regen skill uses 40% sanity? To those wounds. So sanity is a really Are nasty right? thing to measure that could lead to some really crazy outcomes if, I, if things go wrong. So yeah, uh, bad news for you, potentially, but yeah, this might win the fight because there's two insane people right now surrounded by this enemies, and they might that might be enough to win. <laughs> they might be they might start just one shotting drones. I'm coming to the conclusion that I'm exceptionally bad at this game. But a successful mission's a successful mission, it just has a bad rank. Oh, no, she went down. But but he killed his teammate. But here's where you attacked. Oh. No, don't want so much to. for that. Because the Are drones ran away. Well, that went to shit. <laughs> Uh, I think I fundamentally misunderstand 
what the ideal strategy is for this type of game. Like, I've played enough XCOM and XCOM likes to have like a logic built into those ones of like, okay, you do this and you do that, and like, and you take that cover from that flanking direction. Like, there's like a logic that I've so that I'm sort of that I sort of fit back into with those kinds of games. But for this game, I have no idea. I'm not going in with a built-in logic at all. So I totally am like, uh... flailing in the breeze a little bit on strategy. Brace yourself. Is that really all? But hey, if I take out the enemies, then we win, right? right? At this point, I'm not gonna get an S rank, so... Might as well accept what What's happens. This? Brace yourself. I missed. Oh, he could do an AoE on all of us, couldn't he? Unless he's at GP now. Come on. Uh, what's he? My head. Oh, is he? Oh, he, he's calmed down. Okay. This isn't good. Please allow me to maintain my sanity. Okay, so he, he went through his two turns of crazy, so he's just chilling now. We win, question mark. I screwed it up so bad. Rank F. That's an S rank? What? What? I'm gonna go look up somebody else doing this level to see if it looked like- if I- if, uh, they looked like they were way smarter, or if it was chaos for them, too, because... Now I'm questioning everything. Half my party went down, two of them went insane, and I got an... S rank. Was it because of turn order? What? That was a good level? I mean, so Hero got a bunch of points, I guess. I guess he has that going for him. But yeah, like, I have had three deaths and two berserks. That's so many negative points. Maybe it's turn order. Maybe they, maybe there was supposed to be a longer number of turns, and maybe I beat it fast enough that it, I got a good rank anyway, but I don't know. What? I felt like an idiot that was doing everything wrong. And I got an S rank. I don't know what anything means. All I know is that Sho might have points to spend. Okay, let's learn about our team. At least I can do that. That's the she doesn't seem to have any extra make me sick. Three again. It's three again. I think I I think everyone I removed was not the traitors. I think I perfectly got lucky there and got a one-to-one -one there. Sorry. 